Just like on any social network, it's important to control your settings on Google+. When you hover over the home and scroll down to the bottom, you'll see the settings. On this page, there are a variety of settings that you can choose. So just work your way through and find the ones that are most appropriate to you. We recommend that you go at least as wide as Singapore American School on your notifications and your public posts, since we're using it for school. When you scroll down, you might want to start unchecking some of these boxes. The notifications can be kind of annoying if you get too many emails, so you might want to limit it. I would recommend, though, that you leave email notifications checked for when somebody mentions you in a post. That way it's bound to get your attention. You may also want to leave on the section when people tag you in photos. I also like to leave on the invites me to a community option on with the email. That way if somebody does invite you to a community that we might be using for school, you'll be sure to see that notification. Scrolling down a bit more, there are some of your photo settings. Now you want to make sure that you have show photo geolocation unchecked for all of your photos. You can choose whether or not you want to allow people to download your photos, but here's one that I would definitely want you to uncheck. People who tag you are automatically approved if they are in your circles. Let's clear that completely. You don't want anyone to automatic any of your photos to be automatically approved without you knowing. If you scroll down a little bit more, you may also want to check the boxes and allow people to send you messages from your profile or allow them to email you from your profile. You can also uncheck the show your Google Plus Communities posts in your post tab on your Google Plus profile. Finally, just double check that your location settings are disabled. And that should be all of the settings that you need to get you going on Google Plus.